Hello everybody, CyanS111 here, and welcome back to more Civilization VI, Leader Pass as Jin the Unifier of China. Uh, the city that has set, been settled here by the Khmer is going to be very concerning to me, because now I'm not going to have enough room to, to really make a big impact over on this side of the landmass that I am on. But I'll need to check if I still can settle down here so I can grab that iron resource. Yep, I can. And the best spot is right by a river too. So, what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is... A uh, settler takes 29 turns to produce. And it's... It's about four times the gold I have to just buy one outright. Can't even buy one using faith. Bummer. I think a builder is going to have to do for right now. Yes, my galley is still exploring this part of the land. And it looks like I found the part where it loops back around in on itself. The war between me and Norway has ended, and we got Taiwan back, but it's in slight danger of rebelling in a couple of turns. Renaissance era... But it's... It's going to be ages before the Renaissance era ends. And the rebellion that is due to take place... It's going to... It's not going to last until the Renaissance era is over. The minimum limit, at least. It's concerning to me. With the advance oh. of Did Norway just settle another city? I think they did. It's it's not gonna be worth settling over here anymore because I'm just gonna lose loyalty. And yeah, because it's because I'm in a dark age, but even when I'm in a golden or a heroic age, I don't think it's going to be worth it to settle over here anymore with Norway having too much of an influence over there. And I now have the hiccups. Oh, what's this? Norway. Okay, that's their unique unit, the Berserker. The monument in Taiwan is going to be complete in just a few turns, and that should prevent the loyalty loss from becoming any worse than it already is. Natural disaster gradient dust storm. Oh, Norway. You'd best hope you're prepared, even though it could come my way. Pretty soon. Wow, look at all the musket men this barbarian encampment has. I'm sure glad I'm not over there. It's called the Grey Rat. I think my next best bet would be to settle over on this landmass right here, where the Khmer is. But for now, I'm just going to focus on settling over here. Oh, man at arms already. Thank you, game even though it's costing me some gold to upgrade. Still appreciate you giving me the opportunity.
and going up here into the Atlantic. I think Eastern Orthodoxy is going to be the majority for my civilization. No, I still don't see my civilization's emblem on there. So it's looking like it might be a while before it actually shows up. Judging by the looks of it. Rebellion in 39 turns, that's still not very good. Next best thing to do would be to repair the granary, since it got damaged by the Norwegian invaders. who took the other grain resource. None other than Norway and whatever city it has going. I think I might as well want to do a little bit of investigating and see what kind of city they have. So few troops, aren't you scared for your life? Yes, I am. He's still saying that even though I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight troops. Plus a couple more. Including this galley over here that I still have yet to reactivate. Still want to see what that civilization is, too. Can't forget about that. I'll have you alert. I'm revealing more of Indonesia as my galley unit goes up here. I'm going to do a builder before I start producing a university in Beijing. Oh, crap. Norway's becoming unstoppable. I better be careful. They could declare war on me again. I'm getting concerned about that now. <sighs> no, I gotta keep this iron fur in case I need it in a desperate time. I'm sweating by Norway's progression of this continent. Kristen Sand. That's the city name. And Harald Hardrada has captured Seville. We must resist their aggression. Ah, 
I'm not... I'm not very proud of my military might right now. I might have to... I might have to pass up on that for the time being. Maybe if they capture Valladolid, I'll consider it. But I just can't join in with the strength that I currently have. I can't even hope to capture any of their cities up here. Christian Sand, Maybe. I could go for a Lucent too, but... But I'll have to be really lucky for that. Who's coming after him? It passed. An architect should live as little in city. Being a man. But I'm not going to be a part of it. Oh, hey. Indonesia gave me open borders with them. Letting my galley through. I think now would be a good time to go for machinery. Better yet, maybe I should boost it. But I don't think I have the money to do so. Okay, so it looks like the loyalty situation in Taiwan is... I'm at least holding it off. For how long? I don't really know. I'm still keeping a close eye down here because I still want to get that iron. If I train a Crouching Tiger, which is the Chinese unique medieval era unit, I'll of course get some Mera score for that. I'd do anything to avoid a Dark Age at this point. For a second era in a row. I think what I'm going to do is move my trader unit over to Jiaodong. Oh! Oh crap, that wasn't what I meant to do. I meant to move my trader to Jiaodong. Ah, damn it. But as I headed into the heart of New Zealand's oh. Fjordland, that same childlike feeling, long lost, a pure, unadulterated awe came rushing back. I knew the road to Milford Sound was good, but this good? Pio Pio Tahi. Natural wonder. First one we've seen in the game, by the way, and along with that, we've discovered the Hermetic Order, which, uh, too late. Already joined the Owls of Minerva. Nothing anyone can do about that now. Iron for horses. Mm, no. 
still want to save my iron for when a dire situation approaches. So right off the bat, I know I can build a Great Wall Improvement right here. Still a lot of territory to explore. And I still have yet to research the the tech that'll let me navigate ocean tiles, which is cartography. Yeah. I'll start building the university in Beijing, and once the university in Cheyenne is finished, I'll go ahead and have that city produce another settler. What's happening? Okay, so the Khmer is at war with Fez. I know that much now. Khmer is slaying their enemy unit. Flood. My builder has appeared in Handan now. Great Wall District. Uh, Great Wall Improvement. Sorry. Don't know where District came from. I'm gonna produce a granary here in Handan. Congress time again. New districts built by this player act as culture bombs. It could happen. I want to save some of my diplomatic favor, though, for something I really want. Uh... Still haven't been keeping track of what luxury resources I have of my empire, much less my cities, each of them. Oh hey, I got the culture bomb bonus. Thank you very much. You know, I can get a gold bonus if I connect two great walls together. So that's what I'm gonna do. Of course, that can be. Of course, my gold per turn can also be improved via certain policies and trades that I have with other civilizations.
Still too expensive to get a builder, I see. Well, how about I get ancient walls? Which will hopefully later become medical walls. Oh, Indonesia wants to establish an embassy in my capital. Sure thing, Gitasha. Happy day for you indeed. What's going to come up next? Okay, well, I know that my university is going to be down here soon. G is for gold. G is for Great Wall. See the correlation? I doubt there's going to be any real kind of connection between the two, but something to... It's something worth remembering. Oh, why did I build a temple? I meant to start producing a settler. Huh. them produce a farm. I'll have them get a farm improvement going. This builder has only one charge left. Good thing I'm using it for something that'll get me a settler quicker. Imagine the whole world. Now, if I, uh. Yep, like so. Sorry if I've been silent a little bit lately. I'm starting to run out of things to say for this session. And what a session it's been! To bet it's about to end, given that it's like. It's a little past 1.20 in the morning, so I may have to start winding down soon. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to start winding down pretty soon. I see, see Valadolid be, Valadolid being attacked by Norway. That's a sign that I ought to get ready. Actually, I think I'm going to hold off on the settler and start producing units again in case anything comes up between me and Norway. Well, thank you for that, Harold, but your aggression is really starting to scare me. 
and I don't want to take any chances anymore. The taxpayer. That's someone who... Uckland. Found you. Divine right. Get my first tier two government for... Which is gonna be monarchy. I think I'll go ahead and call it a night as soon as I research divine right and get my and get monarchy as a as my new government Ich bin Ludwig von Bayern König dieser Lande des Schwanenritters alte Sage lebt in mir erneut well, well, well. Another brand new leader, Ludwig of Bavaria, Swan Knight of Legend, and King. Sing me the songs of your lands. I don't know if I have... I don't know if there'd be swans in my lands, given that this is a uh, randomly generated map, but... Could happen. You never know. Wow. So few people living in your empire. Must be hard to get anything done. That's understandable. Ludwig is not very happy that I am in the Owls of Minerva. And that, uh, animation he just did would have been perfect for... after we've denounced each other. One way or the other. Oh no, is this as far as my galley can go for right now? Ah, uh, that is a bummer. Looks like I'll have to wait until... Wait until my naval units can embark on ocean tiles before I move on. Which I know still isn't gonna be for a long while. Bummer. at 30 minutes? Oh, we just discovered the Rapa Nui city-state. And... They've got a tribal village inside. How rare is it that you get to see tribal villages inside city-states? But once again, these maps are randomly generated, so... So it could happen, it could not. Who knows for sure. can't quite get past Auckland due to border restrictions. A 
I think I'm gonna get Ancient Walls for Hamdan. I don't think I really have a choice. Well, if I look up here, Norway has... Norway has several encampment buildings. Stuff that I lack. I'm just gonna have to scally auto explore. Can I afford a granary? Yes, I can. I'll be needing it for what lies ahead. I think I'm gonna play things a bit safe and do... Well, first I'm gonna need Ancient Walls. So I can be better protected from any aggressors, like Norway. If you see a castle under fire. Ooh, Renaissance era ends in ten turns. But I get Divine Right researched in just three turns. Without the inspiration boost, that is. And I'm getting closer to being able to produce units that can use Niter. Which, let me tell you, I have a lot of. Said it. Well, anything to keep you from from getting onto me. Ooh, what happened there? These cities took a hit to their faith in Eastern Orthodoxy. I don't really know what it got replaced with, though. So. Renaissance era ends in nine turns, and it's looking like I might be going into another dark age. Man. This is probably one of the worst games I've had so far. But I am hopeful that I can turn it around starting in the next session. So that means I may have to save up a lot of gold to buy buildings that can increase my loyalty. Have policies that can do such too. Oh, a special session of the World Congress. a religious emergency against Theodora. Who but China could create the Crouching Tiger? And who can possibly resist it? Your guess is as good as mine. I have more than enough faith to, to purchase the Gurdwara, though. That'll get my population up a little bit. Yeah, I'm training a settler. I might have a fighting chance at escaping a dark era. I 
I don't have a lot of faith that I will. But it could happen. It could happen. Huh. Ooh. The Akkad city-state. All the way up here. Really. Listen. Strange women. Divine right. We've unlocked monarchy. The old ways were good, but time has shown their weakness. The people of China find new strength with their adoption of monarchy. And that means we are the first in the world to adopt a tier 2 government. And that means we're avoiding a dark age. Brilliant. Now what I want to do here... Don't really know... I could try for a wonder... Um, limes... Plus 100% pr production towards defensive buildings. And I'll do urban planning too. Of course, that might go obsolete here as soon as I research a technology or civic. Did I miss anything? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna work my way towards humanism. Oh boy. I can't believe I barely managed to avoid a dark age if, after all this. Yeah, it's easy, it's easy to say that this is one of the worst games I've ever had, recorded or not. I'm still keeping in, I'm still keeping a close eye on the conflict between Norway and Spain. And I'm still anxious to get my next settler unit down here so I can so I can have another chance to improve my empire compared to the others. And my ancient walls are being produced faster now, so got that going for me. And with that, I think this is as far as I'm going to go for this part. And this session as well. It's 11.35 and I might as well want to go ahead and wind uh, down for the night. I'm content at all I've done. Even though it's nowhere near as successful as... Norway, with its one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cities it has that I know of. There could be one more right here or up here somewhere, but I'd rather not know right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed and pretend that I am still improving my civilization. And with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye!